What's up YouTube? We're back at it again. And today we're going to be uh, activating the four speakers in the Tesla that aren't activated. I bought this wiring harness from Amazon. Let's get this bad boy opened up and installed on the car. This 50 go. No drinking drive. What the? This ain't the Mustang. All right, let's get this bad boy open. Not much to it. Got pry tool, a little um, Allen wrench type thing, and the harness. No instructions, nothing like that. Okay, so we have the wire harness laid out. This is just how it's gonna go. The two right here are gonna go right here. Then these right here will go up front. Step one, go to safety then power off. Everything we're going to be doing is going to be up in here and right here. Okay, this plug right here, you're going to pull it out. It's a little tab where my thumbnail is. You push that and you pull it out. Step one. Step two, you're going to get the uh, female plug. It looks just like this. And that plug that you just unplugged, you're going to plug it into here. And then when you plug that into here, you're going to get this other side and plug it back into where you got the, the first plug out at. Let me show you once again. Okay, this is the plug we unplugged. You plug this one right here. The female version. Plug it in. It's kind of hard to do it with hand. And push it in until you hear it click. Okay. It's a little quiet click. And then you're going to get this half, the other part to this pigtail. You're going to plug this back up in here. Back up into here. No, it's kind of hard to see up in here, but oh, it's, it's tight fit. But push it in. When you hear that click, you got it in. Next, you're gonna wanna come right here and unplug this right here. Now to unplug this right here, it has a little lever on it. So what you wanna do is you wanna get in there and pry it open. See it moving out? And then once it starts moving, you can just pull it out like that. And then pull it back. So it's kind of hard to do with one hand. See, you're going to stick the screwdriver and push that tab and then just pull, pull this back and the whole plug will come out. So next, you want to get this last two plugs up here this the this plug right here that you unplugged is going to go into here and then when you plug that into here this is going to go back up in there okay just push it in kind of hard to do one hand get it all in then just lock this lever right there until it clicks Okay, now you know to this one. This one's gonna go back up in here. Okay, we got the plug. I'll stick it back in here. Push it in. Then push the little lever up till it clicks in. Then you're all good. Okay, once you got that in, we're gonna move back to the back. Here's another tip for you too. When you're doing those wires up in here, 
lay this weather stripping down across here. So when you're laying on your back or on your side looking up in there, you'll have a little bit of padding on your ribs and your side. Because if you take this off, all this hard stuff will be digging in your ribs and side and it doesn't feel good. All right, anyway, so what we're gonna do now is get the rest of the wiring harness. We'll tuck this away later on. But we got two plugs left, easy peasy. You're gonna uh, take this plug right here, it's gonna go to the top white one. Okay, and then this white one right here is gonna go to the bottom blue one. Now this is gonna be kinda hard to do with one hand, but you pop this up like that, and then you have a little bit of room gonna push this clip in right here pull it out the same with the bottom one ah. Ah, that's hard okay so you you see these are the, uh, the males and these are the females all right there we go plug the blue one into here push it until it clicks Okay, you're gonna plug the other side of the pigtail back where the blue one went on the bottom. So this goes on the bottom. So it goes on the bottom, push it until it clicks. Now you wanna plug the this top white one back up. Just like that. Okay. Now that's it. Easy peasy. Uh, you could test it out to see if it works and then put all your wires back all right so what I'm gonna do is uh, play one of my YouTube videos and see if the sound works Some tweeters hooked up now like I said these are tweeters for your mid for your highs so you're not going to hear hear a bass come out of them all you're going to hear is like the hi-hats and cymbals and hand claps that kind of that type of uh, sounds come out of those all right let's get everything put back together and finish this video so what I did is I took this up and I hit the plug stuff back under here so you pull this up and hide everything down there and then I ran the wire up through here and I'm just gonna stick it right here with the rest of the wiring harness okay and how I did this wire stuff there's a big hole right here I just shove it all back in there like this that should be good then I ran the wire up under the carpet and up through here to the carpet and just up through here the kick panel will hide all this right here okay so when putting this back you want to be careful with these clips right here you don't want to smash your wires or cut your wires or nothing so make sure they go in this little slot right here and then these right here these little things will pop right into these little grooves right here and then that into there and push it down until it clicks get your weather stripping back on put your push pin back in
finish putting your weather stripping back on. Don't forget to put your little uh, your little foam piece back on here too if it comes off. And then put it back in the slot like I said and push until it clicks. Then don't forget your last piece. You just want to push down and pop in. See that little slit down there? Slip it down there like this. You're all set. Okay, make sure everything is back. Weather stripping's on. Everything's pushed back in. You get a rag, wipe this back down. Then you'll be all set. Wipe everything down. Just like new. Okay, hope you enjoyed that video right there. Not much to it. Uh, like I said in the video, it doesn't come with directions. But it's not that hard. Uh, every time you're pulling out a plug, you're pitting one of the new plugs in. And then you're piggybacking off the old plug. So you really can't mess up. And another thing... Uh, you know, since I bought this, I do see them even cheaper on Amazon, and I still see the ones that certain uh, aftermarket, aftermarket Tesla uh, companies sell for a lot more, you know, so the choice is yours. Now, one thing, like I said, if you're not really into audio and all that stuff, you're not going to see a big difference, like I said in the video. You'll see a fuller, um, you'll, you'll hear a fuller immersed sound kind of like I said you'll hear the highs the highs and and stuff like that you know like the cymbals and snares you'll hear that more but you're not going to get no bass out of this so if you think you're going to get a bass out of this and whatnot mm -mm, you're not like I said these are like the the uh, tweeters hooking up to tweeters and stuff like that no bass or nothing like that eventually we will probably upgrade the uh, sound system in a uh, model three and uh whatnot but for now it is what it is like i said i seen a couple other people talking about this and i just don't understand why you a dealership puts the speakers and stuff in the car and just don't hook them up normally uh when you don't buy the stuff like that there won't be no speakers in the holes or no wiring maybe not even no wiring harness ran to the thing but it's all there you just got to hook it up anyway Hope you enjoyed that video. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. Follow me on Instagram and Facebook and TikTok and all social medias at This50Go. Don't drink and drive. Until next time, peace.